Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first two weeks in January. So January 1st to the 15th, okay? So let's just see what comes up. What do we got for Aries? What do we got for Aries? Get an overall energy here. Aries. We're going to go with that one. Goddess of the moon. You could be dealing with a goddess or you may be getting some intuitive nudges these next two weeks. Um, seven is a number from heaven. Okay, that equals a seven. So you may be getting some divine guidance. Okay. Um, you may be going through some sort of spiritual awakening. Uh, you will be in touch with the universe in the next two weeks. You will be receiving messages from above. Okay, so keep that in mind. You you're, you're pay attention to the signs. Okay, your intuition is going to be spot on and they're going to be sending you signs. Okay, so really pay attention to the signs. Um, all is not as it seems as well. You may you you may miss some things if you don't look outside the box. Okay, um, you, something may happen that you don't that you think is just a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. What do we have for Aries? Hard work, putting in effort. Working, 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 working hard to do something. We have somebody here that is very skilled. This person is a master at their craft. Justice. Some sort of justice. And the magician. So this is as above, so below. This is a card of willingness to let go of the old to bring in the new. Um, you are manifesting something at this time, finding the resources. This is a card of karma and justice and finality, a final decision. Some sort of truth coming out, regaining your power, being in control. So this is somebody that is willing to shed the old to bring in the new, finding the resources to do so. We definitely have a divine connection here because this is a divine connection and that is a divine connection. So you will be con connecting to, you know, higher power in the next two weeks. This is a final, something becoming final because the justice is a final decision. Now, we have a really hard worker here, somebody that is stable, somebody that um, will do anything to succeed. This person um, puts in a lot of effort. This, we also have somebody here that is very materialistic. Focuses on their money, focuses on making money. All about money, 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 money. Ooh, the Ten of Swords. This is defeat. This is the end. So, it's the end of something. Okay? This is like a death. So, I need to... It could be the end of something at your work. Okay? I'm, I'm not trying to scare anybody. But we could have somebody here that is very much focused on their job. They're overly focused on their job. And they. this is the end of something. Okay? It is. We're going to get some more here. Um... Beginning to realize that there's something more important and it's love. Maybe somebody is working too hard. They're putting too much time, too much effort into work. And it's, it's stressful. It's stressful. It's painful. Maybe that's what they did in the past. They focused on money. They focused on work. Now something has come to an end because they didn't put in effort. They, put, they gave too much time and energy to money and things and work. And now it's like there's a lack of forgiveness. Forgiveness is needed. Yes, forgiveness is needed. But, you know, karma, karma is here because that is karma. Justice is a card of karma. 
It's also, you know, somebody is making a final decision. They're making a decision based on integrity, based on the truth. So somebody is making a decision based on the truth. It doesn't matter how much money you have. Because, you know, and it feels like this right here is the Five of Cups reversed. Is somebody is beginning to realize that there is, there is love. They've been focusing on something that isn't love for a long time. And it's money. It's things. It's possessions. Now we have an ending here. This is the death of something. This is letting go of the past hurts. Yes, forgiveness is needed. But, you know, I don't know about that. So, um, lack of faith, lack of wish fulfillment, not getting what you wanted. There could be some legal issues that didn't turn out the way that somebody wanted. Um, this is unhealthy. Somebody's not healthy. They should probably be ashamed of themselves. Now, this is a manipulation. This is manipulation. This is. A magician is a manipulator. What goes around comes around. This is a lack of getting what you want. Somebody could be upset because they didn't get what they want. Maybe they're able to buy buy things in the past. They always got their way because of their pull, because of their money. Somebody did not get what they want in the justice system, in the legal system. Because all is fair. It's about all that is fair and just. We do have somebody here that is stable and solid and secure. Letting go of the past hurts. This is the end of a painful situation. I mean, this is something coming to an end. The Ten of Swords. That's a death. Beginning to realize that there's a better opportunity. That love is what matters. Not money. Not your job. Not your things. So, whether it's, and these readings can go vice versa. Somebody could be beginning to re be, be, be beginning to realize that they focused too much on their assets. Now, this is letting go of the past hurts. There could be a painful separation right here. Maybe it's already happened or it's about to happen. And there's there's grieving, there's sadness over a loss. And maybe somebody walked away because of the greed. Anyhow, there's definitely some greed here. Um, on the path to recovery. These two cards right here. Somebody is on the path to recovery. But there has been a decision that is final. The decision is final. Somebody has been trapped. Tied up. Bound to a situation that is unhealthy. Trapped in their own head, trapped in their own mind, needing to walk away, but refusing to do so. Allowing themselves to be controlled by a, who knows what. Could be society, could be another person, maybe money. Somebody just couldn't see. They had a mask on, they couldn't see what was most important. And they, and they, and they just allowed it. They definitely did allow it. Now we have the law. This is unhealthy. There could be a loss of a child here. Or there could be issues with one of your children. Um, there's a lack of happiness. There's a lack of growth. Then we have somebody here that is not awakened. They're not enlightened. They don't see things clearly. They, they, they live in an illusionary world of some sort. Naive. They allowed, this is manipulation. Somebody was manipulated by another person as well. Could be dealing with a Leo. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. We have all kinds of people here. We have Libra, we have Gemini, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this person is stable. But this is a final decision being made. This is definitely unhealthy. With the with the star reverse and the sun reverse, there's no there's no uh, shine here. Somebody's lost their shine. There's no sparkle. There's no enlightenment for sure. It's like it's dark. Okay, somebody is in a situ a very situ a situation that is not very bright. Put it that way. It's not. Both of these cards reverse. It's not bright.
This is a loss of a relationship or a friendship. This could be a gang up. There could have been three people against one. Bitchy women. Okay? Three of Cups reversed. There's gossiping. There's a gang up. There's enemies. So people that pretend to be friends, they're fake. But this party is over. There's been a big, huge competition here. And now this could be a miscarriage or a termination, especially with this card as well. Somebody is getting terminated from their parental roles, perhaps. Does it have to be parental? But this is a uh, loss of a relationship, loss of a friendship, people that aren't really your friends that lie and make stuff up. There's definitely um, friends parting ways or family members parting way. There's ways. There's also a lack of emotional growth here. Something is coming to a complete halt. Something is coming to a dead stop. Okay. There's been a, a loss of control. Uh, somebody has been trying to control another person. Seriously, I see that. There have. It's definitely. But things are coming to a halt. Somebody has lost their focus, they've lost their willpower, and they've allowed themselves to be controlled by another person. And this other person has led them in the wrong direction, or other people. But we do have a final decision being made. It's final. This is about love. It's about big love. It is. It's like that. this is the hand of God. Reaching out, saying, it's about love. It's not about money. It's not about things. It's about love. So, Aries, I feel as though you are going to be parting ways with, it could be a few people. Or these people are parting ways with you. It could go vice versa. We do have a third party situation here. And there's too many people with their fingers in the pie. There's a lot of gossip. There's a lot of uh, competition going on. So I think that there could be there could even there could be some legal issues that come into play, and somebody in the legal system makes a choice, makes a decision. But this is somebody that is being given an opportunity for love. This is a big opportunity for a healing love. And somebody has been in a really unhealthy situation with these cards right here. And and it's like whoever you are dealing with is very controlling and manipulative. Very controlling. And it's like it's it's, it's like it's a gang. It's a gang up. They could be ganging up on your children, using your children as a tool. doesn't have to be children, but we do have a third party situation here that is coming to an end. And it could end painfully. It's time to leave all these past hurts behind. It really is. Because you have a big opportunity for love here. This is a new opportunity for love. But you have to make the decision and stick to it. Whether it's you or somebody else, this is a final decision. It's final. So we have a final decision being made in regards to love. But there is going to be a loss, okay? Because the Ace of Pentacles is a loss. Somebody is losing something that they had. It's And it is being, okay, they are. Because there's something bigger. There's something better. Or something is being taken away. And it's time to leave these past hurts behind you. It is. Stop focusing on what happened. And move on. It's over. It's done. So it's like God is saying, here you go. We got this big opportunity. It's bright. And you have been in a dark situation with somebody that was manipulative. Take the new opportunity. This is a bright opportunity. So you're going to be given an opportunity. But before you can accept it, you have to let go of the, the need for more things, more money. 
something about money, something about things. Put your energy and effort into love. Anyway, I feel like this week, I mean, there's going to be an opportunity for love, obviously. But if you want it, that's what you're going to have to focus on. Something is going away. You can't hold on to it. You can't save it. It's not savable. This is instability. Insecurity. A loss of something that you can't, you, you can't keep it. It's leaving. And it may it has something to do with friends or family. There's three people here. Could have to do with children. Maybe there's three children. Maybe there's a meddler that's gotten in the way of all your children. <laughs> but you have to make the right choice. You got to act with integrity. Is it about love or is it about things? I would hate to get to the end of my life and have to repent for that. Anyhow, um, something is coming to a complete halt. It is, with the chariot reversed. Somebody has lost their direction. They've lost their concentration. They haven't been able to see clearly. They've been manipulated by a master manipulator and they've allowed it. And it's like now God is saying, what does your heart want? What does your heart want? Do you want to continue suffering or do you want to follow your heart? So anyway, I feel like for some of you, you are going to be given an opportunity To finalize a contract with somebody. But you have to be practical. And you have to be awake. You have the resources to be successful. But you have to be willing to let go of the old to bring in the new. That is this card right here. So it's like they have this for you. It's what you want. It's the, it's 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 what you want, right? You want love. But in order to get it, you have to let go of your need for things in putting your job and your work first. Money, things, assets. If you want love, you got to put that first. It's got to be first on your agenda. So we have the end of a painful situation if you choose to open your eyes. And walk away from the emotionally unfulfilling situation that doesn't make you happy. And that means you don't look back. Somebody's saying goodbye anyway, because that's what this card is. Leaving. Saying goodbye. I want something more. So somebody is saying goodbye, and it is final. It's the final decision to go after love. It's like all of a sudden, and I think it is definitely sudden, somebody sees the light. And they decide that it's time to go. This could have to do with your job. It could have to do with your family. It could have to do with uh, some legal issues that have been on the table. It could have to do with children. It could have to do with friends. that aren't. There's enemies here. But these people are fake. They pretend to be your friends. They pretend to care. They do. They pretend. And they've been keeping somebody in a mental 
situation mentally trapped because they were able to man manipulate them in a masterful way and they used money and things as their main tool to manipulate it's not about money it's about your heart it's about love it's about doing what you love it's about being with the people that you love and not letting people get in the way of that. Not letting things in your job and your work get in the way of what matters most. So anyway, Aries, I feel like the first two weeks of January, somebody is saying goodbye, whether it's you or another person. Because it's all about love at this point. This could happen around the full moon. Whenever that is. I don't even know when it is. But something is going to be stopped in its tracks. And it's going to come to an end. Because somebody's leaving. Just like that. They've been in a discontent situation. And they've probably missed the opportunity. See what this is? It's like here's the hand. Here it is again. It's like you're not seeing it. You're not seeing it. You missed it. Can't you see? Anyhow, Aries, um, it's your choice. You can choose to stay trapped in a situation that is emotionally unfulfilling, or you can go someplace else where there is love but you're gonna have to put effort into it so I feel like this month you maybe you're gonna take the power into your own hands maybe you're gonna finally decide because this is decide to take action somebody is really in an unhealthy situation and it's coming to a stop just like that good luck